Alright, so when these are mixed, what I would do to figure out if it's acid base or neutral, first of all, this is a strong acid. We've got a strong base here. What you would need to do is calculate, I'd suggest, calculate the moles of each. Whichever one is larger, that tells you what it is. Is this a limiting? Yeah. It's kind of like a molarity limiting reactant slash tri titration problem. Okay. Yeah. So the actual context is titration, uh, but you can treat it like a limiting reactant just to do it that way, which titrations are essentially limiting reactant problems. So you would just go, oh, 12.5 milliliters times 0 0.280 molar. And since molars and liters, you can say, well, a thousand milliliters per liter. And then you should get moles of HNO3. And then you do the same for the other one, five milliliters times 0 0.920 molar times 1,000 milliliters per liter. That's moles of KOH. The bigger one, that tells you what it is. If these two numbers are equal, it's neutral. If this one is bigger, since it's a base, it's basic. If this one's bigger, since it's an acid, it's acidic. And that's it. That's the concept. So you yeah. don't have to do a balanced equation or anything like to know that it's one to one? Uh, I think, yeah, that would be good. You could balance it. It's going to end up being one to one. I guess I kind of assumed that. Okay. But yeah. You can balance it just in case it's not. I think I set this one up so that it's really obvious. But yeah, I recommend. That's good. I didn't do that, but it would be good to balance it. You'll end up seeing it's one to one, so it's not going to matter. Yeah. Is that okay? For the first one?